Hello, my name is Kristen Hubbard and I'm a registered dietitian. This short video will discuss the basics of nutrition during cancer treatment. There are many different types of cancer with numerous forms of treatment. Many individuals will not experience side effects, whereas others may have significant adverse effects during treatment. Today you'll learn why eating healthy is so important during cancer treatments, as well as review the basics of food safety and why it becomes even more important during treatment. You'll also gain a better understanding of how to manage potential eating challenges that may occur as a result of cancer treatments. Nutrition is important during all stages of life, but especially during cancer treatments. However, with everything that goes on during times of illness, including increased medical appointments and lower energy levels, it often takes a back seat. The cancer itself and its treatment can change the way you eat. However, eating well can help to improve strength and energy levels, assist with achieving and maintaining a proper weight, improve how well treatments are tolerated, lower risk of infection, and increase rate of healing and recovery. Eating well means getting a variety of foods to include the nutrients we need. Proteins are essential for growth and repair of the body's tissue and to keep the immune system healthy. Inadequate protein intake can lead to muscle breakdown and increased risk for infection. Good sources of protein include minimally processed lean meats, fish, poultry, eggs, dairy products, beans, peas, and lentils. Fat also plays an important role by serving as a rich source of energy in addition to insulating body tissues and transporting certain vitamins through the blood. During cancer treatment, if appetite is low, consuming more fat can help to achieve the desired level of calories without having to significantly increase the volume of food consumed. Carbohydrates serve as the body's main source of fuel and provide dietary fiber, which is helpful along with fluid with digestion. All of our body's cells need water to function. If inadequate fluid is consumed, dehydration occurs, leading to concerning fluid and electrolyte imbalances. If you're able to eat the proper amount of calories and protein, you typically get the vitamins and minerals you need. However, certain treatments can make adequate intake difficult, thus supplementation may be recommended based on your doctor's orders. During cancer treatment, following proper food safety strategies is very important. As the immune system is compromised, the risk of foodborne illness increases. Consider these tips to lower your risk. Always practice good hand hygiene, washing with warm soapy water before handling food and before eating. Keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Be sure to wash all of your produce before peeling or cutting it, and don't buy produce that has been pre-cut. Avoid cross-contamination by keeping foods separated and using separate utensils and cutting boards for raw meats. Make sure to read packages to identify expiration dates and don't consume foods that have passed their use-by date. If you choose to eat out, try to avoid crowded restaurants. Don't eat raw fruits and vegetables at restaurants or takeout establishments and ask for single-serve condiment packages to avoid the use of self-serve bulk containers. Depending on the type of treatment received, side effects will vary. Surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation are common methods of treatment and each may present a unique set of side effects. The most common side effects include changes in appetite, constipation or diarrhea, fatigue, dry mouth, mouth sores, or difficulty chewing or swallowing, nausea, changes to taste and smell, and unplanned weight changes. If eating adequately becomes difficult during treatment, there are several things that can help depending on the symptom. Smaller, more frequent meals and avoiding too much fluid with a meal can help reduce how quickly you fill up. Keeping simple snacks on hand to have between meals can help to bridge the gap. Drinking plenty of fluids and staying as active as possible helps with constipation. Avoiding gassy and spicy foods and taking small bites can ease digestion. If dry mouth occurs, sipping water or sucking on candy or gum can help to stimulate saliva. Foods that are cold or served at room temperature tend to be less odorous and for some are more appealing. Eat what sounds good 
If that means eating breakfast for dinner, then so be it. Comfort foods and foods that appeal tend to be better tolerated. Protein supplementation, like shakes, bars, and powders, can be helpful as well. There are also recipes and strategies to add calories, protein, and fat to the items you are already eating and tolerating. In conclusion, remember that every cancer, every person, and every treatment is unique. Side effects may come and go. Do what works for you and make adjustments as needed to prioritize your nutrition before, during, and after cancer treatment. The resources used in this presentation came from the American Cancer Society. They have fantastic free resources on their website, which is www.cancer.org. The Village's Health also has a team of registered dietitians that can help with your individualized needs. For more information or to make an appointment, please call 352-674-1770. Thank you.